Good morning everyone and welcome back to your local news of today, Wednesday the 20th of July 2016 and here are the headlines. Students and teachers of the EMIO and the president of the teacher union PVL protest against the restructuring of the institute. St. Vincentius Hospital celebrated its 100th anniversary. Less spots for vacation jobs this year. The renewal movement wins board election of police union. I am Randy Kromedi Hario and your local news begins now. Students and teachers of the Institute for Economic and Secondary Administrative Education, IMIAO, and the president of the Association of Teachers, BVL, Wilco Valis, have protested yesterday against the decision of the ministry to execute the restructuring plan at the various IMIAO schools. The number of courses will be reduced and the EMIO and HAVO and VWO complex will be closed. On the premises of the Ministry, Minister Robert Paneu of Education, Culture and Science explained the decision. When the Minister walked away from the protesters, they decided to go to the National Assembly where a petition with a various issue on which the group is dissatisfied was presented to the Speaker of Parliament, Jennifer Simons. Simons promised the dissatisfied group that the parliament will work on resolving the issue. MP Diana Pocchi, who is also member of the Parliamentary Committee on Education, says that the decision of the minister should be put on hold for the time being. This is because of the situation of the country and also the situation in which parents are currently. When you reach 100 years, there are certainly high and low points Words of Manoj Hindri, General Director of the St. Vincentius Hospital. One of his wishes is that he would like to unveil a plaque of certification at the 100th anniversary of the hospital yesterday. The hospital was designed by Martin Riedbergen, who visited the country in 1913 and made the design in 1914. Arcades with semicircular arches and galleries give the facades a strong rhythm and relief. The hospital was opened on the 19th of July, 1916, the first day of the Holy Vincent de Paul, after whom it is named and whose statue was placed on the old vacate on Koningenestraat. At the St. Vincentius Hospital, the focus is on the treatment and care of the sick. The hospital exerts its action on the basis of the Catholic beliefs and respects the dignity of every individual, regardless of race, sex, status, and religion. This year, companies take less vacation jobbers. The economic downturn is one of the main reasons, Vedi Soma, manager of clothing store Senso, says. He said that the past few months, the company has known very difficult moments, thus the recruitment of new personnel is constantly diminishing. Not only at Senso, less vacation jobbers are, are recruited. At Lucky Store, it's no different. There they get dozens of applicants for a vacation job daily. But unfortunately, they cannot accommodate them. At Beirut Bazaar, there is 70% drop in the number of available vacation jobs. Despite the companies are aware of the rising run-up in the vacation period, this cannot be accommodated with vacation jobbers. The government usually registrates students annually for the so-called Green Country Axi, but for now, it's not clear if it will be continued this year. Working on the integrity and the internet internal organization of the police organization are some of the issues where the reform movement within the police union wants to deploy itself. This is because these things have gone wrong in the organization for years, says Raoul Helling, member of the renewal movement. Of the six groups that participated in the election Monday, the reform movement got the mandate to run the board of the police union for four years. Around midnight, the counting of the votes under the supervision of the election commission led by Rudy Steinberg was completed. The election of the renewal movement is, according to Helling, a clear signal there is a need for renewal. The election in the various districts had run smoothly and cost more than 30,000 SRD. The results will be arrested on Monday during a prescribed general assembly of the outgoing board led by Robbie Ramjiawan. The term of the board at the Suriname Police Association is four years. 
as for now this is your local news of the day thank you for joining us till tomorrow